So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use SwiftUI's secure field to hide a user's password when they're trying to authenticate. So the secure field works almost identically to the text field that you've been using before. Um, it accepts the characters as a string. However, it masks the privacy. So that's the main sort of difference. So let's, uh, let's dive in, create a new application. I'm just going to call this toggle password. I can leave that the same from when I was doing a demo before. Uh, we don't need any of the core data. Of course, we're doing Swift UI and then click next. Choose where you're going to create it. So I'm just going to drop it in this folder I've got here. And then from here, we have our basic Swift UI uh, view. I'm not going to run through any of this. I'm just going to dive straight into the project and uh, start building what we're, we're here to do. So first thing we need to do is to create our states, which will be toggled or bound to our different controls. So the first state that I'm going to create is for my username. So I like to call it txt username just because I know then it's a string and want to know what it's passing. And my other one I'm going to call txt password. I'll set that to one, two, three, four. And finally, my final state will be for toggling whether we want to display the password or we don't want to. So I'm going to create this as a private variable and I'll call this is secured. Of course this will be boolean and I'll make that equal true so we can toggle if it's on or off. Obviously this isn't the most secure way for you to uh, authenticate but it's just showing you the basics of how to build Swift UI apps and you can build in that security later on. So we'll start off with a vStack inside there we're going to first of all build our interface up a little bit so I need to have a little title so I'll add some text and I'll style this I'll set the large title set the font weight set the color and then underneath that I'm going to add a spacer so I'll just set up some placeholders as comments so I'm going to have the username which will display I'm going to have the password field and lastly, I'm going to have a button. So I'm just going to add that button first, just so we can start to build up the interface before I get into the nitty gritty of what this video is really about. So start off with a button. It's going to be a fairly simple button. It's just going to uh, have some logic to say if the username and password is correct, which I declared previously. So if that equals Daniel, and the password is correct, then it's going to just print out into the console. Again, for these videos, I'm not going to show you how to integrate it into your previous project. That's up to you. I'm just showing you some functionality where you can choose to add it to your app or you can choose not to. So these can sort of work as standalone videos if you have other projects or if you're interested. Otherwise, you can integrate it into your login app. Okay, so we have the logic there, so if the username is correct, uh, print user authenticated, if it's not, print login failed. Finally, I'm just going to add in some styling for my button. So I'm going to set the, the width of it, set some padding, change the foreground color, set a background color, and the corner radius. Uh, I've shown previous videos on styling buttons, so I've gone through this pretty quickly. Uh, so now we should have a login app. I'm just going to change the device so it looks a little bit nicer. Hopefully you're not still building for some old iPod touches. There we go, zoom out a little bit. Okay, so now let's get started on the username. There's that, you'll notice as I'm building up the username and the password that they have similar styling. So I'm going to copy and paste for some of it. So just keep an eye out for when I do that and pause it if necessary. So I'm going to start off with an H stack that has 15 of spacing. Um, this is going to be the exactly the same in the password. So I'm going to copy this down into the password section. So that way we just have uh, consistency across it. It makes it a bit easier later on. So both H stacks will have an image. Uh, this first one will be an envelope for the username. Could be a user icon if you like. Again, look in your SF symbols if you're not familiar with these and, and how you can select different icons. We can then style our image. I'm just going to set that to grey. And then we can add in our text field. And this text field will have the placeholder text of username. 
and then it's going to pass through that binding variable which we created before. So that's at the top there where we, we corrected that. Again, add some more styling and I'll copy this styling across for the password as well. So you're setting the, file, uh, the, the style of the field, setting the font so it's not too large, adding some padding. Set the minimum width so it's consistent with the rest of my layout. And finally corner radius just to make it look a little bit more pretty. Yeah, can we see that there rendering out? Let's add a little bit of padding on the H stack and we can copy that across onto the password as well. So now we can start on our logic for our passwords. We'll start off with an if statement. Uh, and again, we're going to check that state that we created before so is secured. So if it's true, else, so if it's false. And again, using that private variable that we created before. We can then display different things depending on the conditions. So it's a bit of a duplication of code. Um, we did this similar before when we were doing our navigation links. So within this button, we can then toggle the is secured variable. So we can make it on or off once the button's pressed. And then we can embed an image using the eye icon. Uh, if you don't remember these, you can look it up in SF um, symbols to try and find different ones. I'll set the foreground color of that to gray. So from there, I'm going to copy my text field because I mentioned text fields are exactly the same as our secure field. So I'll paste that into my if statement as well. Change it to secure field. And then I can copy everything from the first if statement into the else and then just change it around. So instead of the slash icon, we'll have the normal icon. Instead of the secure field, we'll have text field. And then we'll give that a run to test it out. So I can see we've got a bit of an error here. Looks like uh, we've bound both of our text boxes to the same variables. So they're both showing up the text uh, txt username. So we're going to change that to password. I can see my placeholder text uh, it needs to be changed as well, but I'll I'll fix that later on. So to make sure that functionally it works. Okay, so now that works as intended. So there you have it. And obviously this isn't the most secure way to to um, pass encrypted data. However, it does show you the basic functionality, how to use secured fields, um, and how to create a functional login app.